Hi everyone, hope you're all okay. Yesterday we started looking at suffixes, didn't we? Suffixes are letters that are added to the end of a word to change its meaning. Can you say that? Letters that are added to the end of a word to change its meaning. Good, well done. So we're going to learn a new suffix today. And this one has four letters as well, just like men, but it is ne. So these four letters make the suffix ne. So every time we see this today, we know it says ne. Okay, can you whisper it? Ness. Can you say it louder? Ness, ness, ness. Well done. Okay, and then different to yesterday, this suffix changes an adjective into a noun. Okay, it changes an adjective, a describing word, into a noun. So, for example, I might say the sun was very bright, but then using that suffix, I could say the brightness of the sun was blinding. Okay? Or I might say the witch was very ugly. Or even better, the ugliness of the witch was clear by her missing teeth and her many warts. So using this suffix, it can make our writing more interesting and more grown up. So we're going to practice using it today. So we're ready to read. Start with some easy ones. Are we ready? A d net. Put it together. S a d net. Sadness. Just like the character in Inside Out. He was feeling great sadness. Next one. It ne. It ne. Fitness. Lots of you have been doing lots of fitness, whether it's Joe Wicks or yoga. You've been doing lots of fitness. Okay, next one. A l i t ne. Let's go back to the root word. It's got a split digraph in it. P -o -l -i -t. Polite, politeness. So, have a think, what does it mean if you're being polite? Polite. So, the girl showed politeness when she used her manners. She said, please and thank you. Well done, next one. Air. Ness. Fairness. Fairness. Think about a time when you have showed fairness. Might be in a game, at home, or it might be at school. We show fairness, we might take turns. Well done, next one. I et ness. Let's look at the root word. I et. Why et? Ness. So I know in school at the moment, because there's not as many people, the quietness is so noticeable. You can feel the quietness around school. Okay, these last three are a bit different because we need to remember one of our rules for adding suffixes. So when we use the ness suffix, can you see what's different about these three words at the end? What have you noticed? That's right, it's this sneaky I in the middle. So these root words here, happy, silly and ugly, We've taken off the Y, added an I, then ne. So let's check them. 
Happiness. Happiness. We don't usually spell happy with an I, do we? We've had to take off the Y, add an I, then ness. So happiness, silliness, and ugliness. So remember that. Most words that end in a Y, we need to take it off. There are a couple of exceptions. Okay. Right then, we'll try something different today. Try something new. Let me show you. So, in your book, you're going to practice four of those words, four of your choice, ones that you find a bit trickier, probably. And for each word, you're going to split a bit of your page into four or into quarters. Now, in the middle, you're going to write the word. So I'm going to choose the word sadness to start with. Sadness. So in the middle, you write the word. And then each box is going to be a different thing to help you know the word better. So the first one is going to be draw it. So sadness is quite easy to draw. That's probably why I've chosen that. So in one box you're going to draw it, draw the word. What does it mean when you think of the word? What do you picture in your mind? And draw it. Down here we're going to define it. That means can you write what it means? So you might use a dictionary if you've got a dictionary at home. Or you can use an online dictionary. So if I was to define sadness, that means the feeling of being unhappy. That's what it said in my dictionary. Okay. So we've got to draw it, define it, write it. You can practice your different ways of writing, like pyramid writing, um, swirly writing, however you want to do it. It's a little bit rushed, but you'll do better than me. And then last one, use it. Use it in a sentence. Remembering those capital letters and full stops. So I'm going to use the word sadness. I might say, her tears showed deep sadness. Her tears show deep sadness. Can you hear how that sentence is a bit more interesting than just saying she was sad? Yeah, I've checked my capital letter, I've checked my full stop. So pause the video so you can write all these different sections. Draw it, write it, define it, and use it in a sentence. And I want you to do that for four words from our list. Four words. Here they are. Move up a little bit. Well done. Thank you to everyone who sent over their work yesterday. Do the same today and I will have a happy face. Thank you. See you tomorrow.